Hi guys, my name's Subtruder, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back to Paladins. Now today we're going to take a look at Zin down here, who uh, is one of the two most recent uh, characters that has been added to the game since we last took a look. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to jump, as per usual, straight into the shooting range just to take a look at what he's got. Oh yeah, put the hat on. Put the hat on, it's great. Shut I like up. that hat. Shut up, driver. I'll turn you off. <laughs> But yeah, with Zinn, he's very much a character that's that's again, he's a flank class character. He's he's got a a variety of different things to him, but he's very much uh, kind of closer quarters. I feel, um, and I think he's, you know, he's the team kind of been member. designed that way. Now with these. Member. Is the team. We've got his his counter attack. We've got the the healing as he kind of escapes. But I'm gonna take that one with his uh, his increased damage for his ultimate and stuff. Here we've got a bit of extra health to keep him surviving longer. We've got reduced cooldown on his escape skill below. A uh, little bit of extra healing if he manages to counter. And then I find that the whirl is kind of useful for getting in and out. So I've taken the life steal just to give us a little extra healing, a little extra bit of, uh, of a chance around that. But then also the uh, the decreased cooldown per hit. So uh, we'll go with that. Right now, there's one interesting thing about this character, and that is that I don't know about you guys, but the the kind of way his he swipes it makes me kind of my eyes draw to where he's going rather than like where the crosshair is. So it's uh. As much as I like the little circle dot crosshair, it's it's kind of I don't know. I'm tempted to maybe change the crosshair that I've got with this guy just because you know it does it draws my eye to where he's going and it potentially throws my my aim off. Now his uh, his various abilities and their ranges, like his billow. Oh no, that sorry, that was whirl. His whirl is uh, you know not super long range, but the thing is. With his whirl, let's actually get down with these guys here. His whirl doesn't have the greatest area of effect. So if I'm going straight for that one, I'm only going to hit her. I'm not going to hit anyone else. I need to kind of, like, if I aim straight down between these two, then I get both of them. But it's, it's like, you need to cluster enemies to use it well. But let's go back to his, his kind of main weapon. And it's interesting because he has different angles of attack. So it comes out as this little kind of star shape once you've, or cross, once you've uh, you fired it all off. But also, the further away it gets from you, the projectile, the slower it moves. And also, it, it doesn't have damage drop off, but it does have a very hard ending to its range. Not that that's being shown off, considering that her, her thing is white. And it's still letting me hit her. No. The hell? That shouldn't be happening. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah. I don't know why it was letting me hit her outside of range, but like... If her, if her silhouette is white, then for the most part, she should... Yeah, the story begins. But obviously, getting in close, dealing that damage quickly is far, much more, far more important. But then we've got his uh, E ability, which is um, his kind of escape skill, which... If we start here at 250, makes him intangible and gives him about here, you know, about 100 units or just under 100 units worth of distance. Now, I gotta go uh, kind of over here to test out to show you off his uh, alternate fire. And I got a couple of issues with this. Firstly, because it's got that seven second cooldown. And yeah, you can reduce the cooldown and stuff like that. But considering it's his ult fire and considering it's one of his main like defensive skills, it does it is a little bit kind of odd and annoying that it's um, got quite a long cooldown. But also to get the, the damage off it, to get the benefit, the full benefit of the skill, you need to be right in close. So here actually deflect it get the damage you know it, it you have to be Wait. very close and it's if she hadn't had to reload it, then she would have killed me then. you know it's it's defensive sure but it's maybe not the most useful but 
his is ult, which has a charged component to it, but especially with the card that we've got, it makes him a big tank and healer killer. One ult use, one dead Fernando. You know, it, it's, it's very, very powerful. Um, so you can get in, you can pick your targets, you can take out those very specific uh, tanks and healers with more health. I mean, not that Ying is necessarily the best example of that. Um, and as a result, you can kind of clear the way for the rest of your team to go and do more. So let's jump back out to the lobby and uh, and we'll jump into a bot match and I'll kind of and we can take a look at how this guy really works right uh, there. Okay. Like also some of the skins that they're they're slowly releasing to one extent or another are absolutely ace. Um, it's just a, a champion. Uh, ah. Zin. <laughs> Didn't expect to be in that fast. But, yeah, I like this. I think it could use with maybe a little bit more polish to it overall. There's the other new character, Leanne. She's interesting. We'll get to take a look at her in a bit. Uh, or in the next video, maybe. And then we'll move on to some of the other heroes that I've not covered yet. Because I've obviously not oh, covered yeah, the whole the roster on. just put yet. Put the hat on. It's great. I like that hat. Uh, yeah, another again a damage heavy team, but we do have a healer, so we'll see how this goes. Um, and again, get over the spot doors right now. It, we're not even in the map yet, Dry Bear. Shut up. But yeah, we've we've got some some interesting things that we could do with this character. Uh, I'm not too fond of using him on this map. I'll I'll, I'll admit, but we'll uh, we'll go with the flow. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Also, apologies if I keep sipping at my drink. It's incredibly warm here today. Apparently, today is the only day this week that it's going to be this kind of temperature. And I'm uh, I'm actually leaving the area tomorrow uh, for a week and stuff. So it's it's just or at time of recording I am. So uh, yeah, if I, t if I, I keep to the take, taking a drink, you'll have to excuse me just because I'm dying here. Right. So ordinarily I'd take Cronus to give us that reusability of, of skills, but I like, you know, we want to keep using that ultimate as much as possible to either gain ground, charge in, charge out, or we want to get in there to kill people with it. So we're going to be taking that first. Now. Battle is beginning in... Pillage and burn. Yeah, right about yeah okay. We'll, we'll think about it. I, I don't know what. I don't know how well we'll do burning stone here, but you know we can try. There's in. Yay, healing. Um. Five, whatever. four, three, two, okay. one. Not the most exciting emote there there ever was. But what we'll do is we'll come around here. I'm gonna try and agitate them. The fool and the story begins. Shit. And the prime blood. Let me out. <laughs> Damn. I'm the only person trying to get on the point, and I got mowed down by a rocket of the That's fine. We did some of our job. Just got just just got a little uh, carried away, and unfortunately, the rest of the team kind of followed suit. Okay. I am the master of this point. Okay. I die. Okay. There we go. Get him. Uh, he went in the didn't he? Yep, there he is. There we go. He's gone. Guys, we need to push the cart if we want to win, people. There we go. But it is 
Bye, Ruckus. There, we'll just get some healing back off Maldamba here for a second. And then we just want to take out Ruckus there because he's a problem. Get him, get popped up like that. Oh, I spun too late. He got past me. Either way, that's fine. We'll take this and we'll take some damage resistance and we'll take Cauterize because I think Cauterize would be more useful trying to take out their Yin because I'd imagine that, yeah, we've got at least one other person that's taken Wrecker to kind of pop down some of those shields. So... There we go. Okay then, so now we just need to do similarly again. Uh, 13, not too bad, could be could be better, could be worse. Yeah. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Okay then, let's see, because this is, this is gonna be uh, Kind of interesting because ordinarily, four, like I've, three, I've been two, using this guy one. against um, Fernando's on the other team, which again Fernando is kind of broken, so it's not necessarily the most fair kind of face against the other face off. Oh, I probably should have at least deflected one of those and got away from it. But, oh well. Go me. What are you up to, Leanne? Okay. Let's get them off that point, Enemy shall we? Enemy killing spree! Just oh, before. I die! <laughs> We've got our ultimate, though, so when... Ruckus comes back, then we can, uh... We can tackle him. I have judged this world. Come on. There we go. You're doing okay. You just need to to. Like, I'm not Your using World as much as maybe I, I should be. Well, apparently we clipped someone with one of those, so that was all good. Gonna go up. No, no, and oh crap. No, no. Oh, I tried to tried to billow out of the way, but that didn't, didn't quite go to plan, unfortunately. Right, let's let's get the second tier of that just to kind of tide us over, pick up some extra on this ultimate, so we can use it one more time just to make this final push, just to take out to take out some of these guys that want to cause us some. Some hardship. There we go. Right, where's... Where's... Oh, okay. Fair enough. We'll... Oh, right there. Ruckus is still sat up there in spawn. That's fine. <sighs> okay, good for her. Let's see how she did then.
I don't think we would have got best flank either. I have a feeling that Maeve uh, did better than we did. Neil. But we have to see. Oh no, we did it. We did it. We beat out the, the Maeve as well. Only with eight though. The last time I was playing this guy, I, I beat out the uh, opposition much more handily. And unfortunately, we're only sat in silvers. But that... Yeah, this isn't as, as good a performance as I did the last time I tried to record this video, but unfortunately it kind of went to shit that time as well. But, uh, you know, that that all worked out pretty well. And as I said, I quite like this character. My biggest issue with the roster at the moment is that they seem to just be remixing old characters or not addressing old characters to make them more usable. And that's... A problem especially considering that they're not adding don't seem to be adding more in the way of characters for healing and tank roles to with the same frequency as they are for flank and damage which are both basically damage classes but either way I don't mind Zin here I, I quite like his getting in close and getting stuck in kind of uh, style of play anyway thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the video tomorrow take care Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please drop us a like, share this video, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.